Hello everybody, this is Chad from CBW Farms. Today we are on Farming Simulator 22 and we are on the Old Stream Farm by Black Sheep Modding. It's a nice little map what I've seen on it so far. Uh, I haven't really played around much on this other than with Looney Farm Guy, so go check his channel out. Uh, we did a live stream on here Friday evening, I believe. Yeah, Friday evening it was. Um, I was uh, a guest on, on, on his live stream, so he kind of did a map tour on it, and that's kind of what I've seen of it so far. I have played this map on Farming Simulator 17 and also on Farming Simulator 19. Uh, not a lot on 19, but a little bit, a, a fair little amount. But 17, this is one of my favorite maps. There are some similarities in the in all of the versions, but this one is by far the most different version of the three, I guess. Uh, the center of the map is probably the most familiar, if if you folks have all seen that already, I guess. So, anyhow, we are here at the shop, as you saw in the thumbnail, I guess. And let me look over here one second. Give me a second here. Bum 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 bum. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay. And what we are doing today is we are doing the Old Stream Farm Challenge. And this uh, challenge was set up by Farmer Willie B. And also Rusty Money Gaming helped assist him with it. So this is mentioned on Rusty's Discord. Uh, Rusty Money Gaming Discord. Or in the Farming Simulator uh, uh, Challenges group. Uh, also ran by Rusty Money Gaming. But at, anyhow, here is the rules. We'll kind of walk a little bit while we'll do this. We'll just kind of walk through the town. But anyhow, this is for the FS22 map of Old Stream Farms, meaning that anybody can do this on any platform, because it is out for all platforms. And single player, yes, you can do it in single player. Uh, multiple play or multiplayer sorry that is your choice you can play with someone on here if you want if you need some extra help or anything or like i do on my live stream sometimes i have somebody join me or i join somebody else on their live stream and uh, yeah so get the multiplayer is your choice the gameplay mode is start from scratch and basically what that does is you don't want the starting farm for this challenge. Well, you want it, but you can't have it. And start from scratch. The buildings are all there yet, but the farm, you know, is not owned by you. And plus, you don't have any equipment as well to start with that way. Then, the next part would be seasons. And yes, you can play with seasons. Or yes, you have to play with seasons. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, seasons is required. But the days at, uh, per month is your choice, and it can be changed. Productions are allowed on here. So that's good if, if you want to use the, the newer, I guess, uh, lime production factory. That, that's a nice mod that came out a while back. And, and there is a pretty fair amount of rocks on this map, from what I've seen, or stones. Um, mods allowed. Yes, everything is allowed except for 82 Studios multi bias hello. That may change if you're watching this a year down the road. That could change. That could be edited. And DLCs are allowed. Uh, money mods allowed? No, they're not. Uh, so you can't use the government subsidy sign or on PC you cannot use F12 and add money in. And uh, economy setting is your choice. Uh, you can go on easy if you want. Uh, when you do start from scratch, you generally start in uh, uh, hard mode. So you can change that if you care, care to. Or you can make it more challenging and, and not do it, I guess. And my next step here would be uh economy setting time dilation that is your choice as you can see on the top right hand side of the screen we are at half time half of real time 
but that's just because I'm setting everything up right now. In fact, if you look, we're, we're almost to the to the home farm here, which we do not own, or nor do we own any fields. Um, can you speed time up for harvest? Yes. Um, weeds, lime, or plowing, that's your choice. You don't have to do any of them if you don't want. Crop destruction, that's also your choice. Stones, that's your choice. You can have them on, you can have them off. Snow, that's your choice. Even though you're playing in seasons, you can still choose to not have any snow. Uh, fuel us usage is your choice. So you can go on low fuel usage if you want to save some money, normal, or they also have high fuel consumption. Um, additional loans, yes, you can take additional loans out. Uh, leasing is allowed. Contracts, you are allowed to do contracts and to borrow equipment. Well, it says no on the rules, but what Farmer Willie B means by that is borrowing equipment. Let's hop in here. And, and Farmer Willie B also did a, a setup video on this challenge as well, so go check out his channel. Again, that's Farmer Willie B or Rusty Money Gaming. Also check him out. But yes, you can see we got contracts here. And you see field 26 that's highlighted is 1600 and well, it don't matter the price of it, I guess. But you see the, the McCormick tractor and the sprayer that are at the bottom of the screen. You can borrow these items to do this contract. But in Farming Simulator 22, if you don't collect on the contract, you can actually do field 32 here. You can do that with the same sprayer. That you're not allowed to do. You have to re-borrow the items again for that specific contract. Hopefully that's clear enough. Like I said, you, you can't multiple use borrowed equipment for contracts. So I just wanted to throw that out there and, and Willie B made that pretty clear in his video as well. And I believe, let's scroll down here on statistics. There are 10 collectibles on this map. If you look at the bottom right hand side or column there, there are 10 collectibles. I believe they're all little black sheep, uh, hence black sheep modding. So there are 10 of them scattered around the map. You are allowed to collect them. All right, now let's get into the setup. We'll walk around here a little bit again. I'm not really paying attention to where I'm walking. I am just walking. I am reading off my PC as we're doing this. But anyhow, the setup is you start, in, start from scratch. Then you can buy, you'll start off with $500,000 and you will have a $200,000 loan already taken out. But you own no land. You really don't own anything and start from scratch on, on this map anyway. So then for the setup, you got to buy one tractor, any tractor of your choice. I mean, you can go for a, a $399,000 tractor because you'll have 500000 to work with to do this setup. So, yes, you can buy whatever tractor you want. If you want the, a large tractor, you can go ahead and do it. If you want to start small, you can have a small tractor or medium tractor. So, again, a tractor of your choice you start with and a car of your choice or pickup or, or golf cart or, or whatever you kind of want for a vehicle. You can start off with one of them. And the only other thing you get to start off with, if you choose to, you don't have to, but you can have a chainsaw if you want to do some logging to build money. Because as you can see, I've got $5,338 at this moment. So yes, you, you can have those three pieces of equipment and you can't use that $500,000 that you start off with before um, down to this level here. You cannot use that money to purchase the BGA. And as Willie has shown us in his video, again, go check out Farmer Willie B, a great friend of the channel and a great content creator. On this map, let's get to the right map here. You, as I'm just copying what Willie said here. You can see there's production chains here. There's things here. All these blue deals, you will not find the BGA that way. 
The only way you can find the BGA, the BGA is right in my white square there. And you'd have to buy that ground. As you can see, I, it's $164,000. I cannot buy that. But if you buy that ground, the icon won't show up until you exit out of this screen and then come back into the map again. Then an icon will show up there. So again, for $164,000, you can buy the BGA. You cannot use that starting $500,000 to do that. So the BGA is basically up to you. If you want to use it, you have to buy it. And, um, but you cannot use that $500,000 that you start with. So you have to work to get that, basically. And finally, in this, you have to set your money in your account between $5,000 to $6,000. As you see here, the 5,338, which I did by leasing some cotton harvesters and some bigger tractors and, and stuff like that. I did not want to do that on screen because Farming Simulator 22 can, can sometimes uh, glitch out and crash on you. I didn't have any problems doing it, but I just didn't want to do it on camera. And it ain't that exciting watching me lease equipment and return it, I guess. So, so that is basically the setup. So basically, the setup is we've got no land. However, also part of the setup, you own the periphery of the map. So again, let's go in here. Let's go in the ground. Uh, let me click on this. Let me sell that. All right. See, as of right now, we own nothing. Absolutely nothing on the map. So you are encouraged to purchase the periphery of the map. So I will buy that for zero dollars. So there you have, well, basically you have all the streams is what it is, some of, and the roads, a little bit of land. You got some spots in town here. And the reason you want to do this, I mean, you can do anything you want with that periphery, uh, but you want to have it so you can place a house down so you can sleep through the night because it'll, it'll take a little while to do this challenge. Um, and like I will be doing, I will just be going onto my own ground here and purchasing a floor mat, which is $200. So I'll be placing one of them down somewhere. I have not done that yet. So that's why you want to own a periphery. Plus, you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, if you want to build something on it, you are more than welcome to or farm it. I mean, if there's any grass, like if there's not real big periphery area maybe up here i'm not sure what what's all up in this area i haven't looked at any of that yet but but yeah so that is the last part of the setup i'm sorry this is taking me a while to explain it but i want to explain it clear to you all we will be doing gameplay but probably not on this episode but now as for the challenge itself you've got three goals the first goal is earn enough money to buy a piece of land of your choice. And that too, that can be a logging a forest area, that can be a, a field. I mean, you can't buy any, you can't buy this farm here right away, but you can buy any other property that is a farmable ground or logging ground. So you can do that, but you cannot build on that ground. So basically, if we, I let's go in here again. Let's say I bought for random sake here. Let's go to field three. I bought field three. I had the money to buy. You got to have the money to buy, it. and you can borrow. I mean, you can still borrow money. Remember, uh, I don't even know what the maximum allowed is on this map. If it's five hundred thousand or what it is, so you can borrow money to do this. So yeah, I could buy field three, but I have to farm field three. Or, like I said, if it was the forestry area up here, you can clear trees, but the only thing you can do there is you can plow it up and, and farm normally. You cannot build on that first piece of property. So, that is stage one. Not too complicated. It's just earning some money and buying a plot of ground. Stage two, you'll want the stage one part of it anyway because you, you want to earn some money because stage two 
you want to earn enough money to buy the main farm. And if you're not familiar with a map where this kind of tan color is, that is the main farm. There you go. Here's the main farm, but look at that. That's $232,000, which you got a field included with it and some pasture ground for the cow pen and, and the sheep pen. So $232,000 to buy that. So that's stage two is to buy that. Not complicated. Like I said, again, a lot of this challenge is just going to be building up the money. So let's go back here. So stage two, you will buy this. Everything will be here. I'm not sure if the farmhouse pops up or not because your sleep trigger will be in here. And you notice I can't open the door, but you have to own the property to be able to open any doors or gates on this map. So start from scratch. You don't have to sell any buildings or anything. They're all here already. Oh, yeah, you can open some gates, I think. Some people have problems with gates, but at any rate, so stage two is earn enough money to buy the original farm. And now finally, stage three, the final stage, is the main goal is you got to repay any loans back. You can't have any loans to complete stage three. But also in stage three, you have to uh, complete the first stages, obviously. But to complete the challenge, you have to do the three stages and have three of these animal pens that are on this farm. Or if you place any down anywhere, I mean, if you buy other fields throughout, you can place down whatever you want. You know, it's just that first field, you can't put any any uh, placeables down. But so like I said, if you bought it, now this field over here is your second field and you wanted to put a sheep pasture here, you can do that. But preferably, I would say, do three animals on the yard and have them at least half full to finish the challenge. So again, to complete the whole challenge, you must complete stages one through three and have three animal pens filled with half of the animals or more. Anyhow, let's go back here. Uh, I'm looking on uh, FS-19, the store is down in this area. FS-17, the store is right about here. So kind of in this area. And here is the store vehicle shop store in uh, Farming Simulator 22. All right, so we're back here. So basically the only other thing that I've gotten done is I've bought a couple pieces of equipment. One of them, I do have my steel chainsaw. I have my $5,000. And I went with a Fent Green pickup, the 1978, I believe this is the modded one. And we have with the fan tractor. I did put, put loader brackets on it. Figured, well, I'm going to do it. I do have narrow tires on here. So I don't do any crop destruction because I do have it turned on. So, yeah, we have the fan. What number is this? Even 700 something. 724 Vario. Uh, Medium sized tractor at 240 horse. I, I just wanted a decent sized tractor. I didn't want to overkill it. This might be a little bit, but. But no, I mean, we got a front three point on here we can use and and that is what I've purchased to start this challenge, I guess. And I was going to see if there was anything else I wanted to mention about the challenge. Um, we might be starting cutting some logs here on episode two and doing a few contracts. You know, see, I see what wood is worth, see what things are worth on here. There are no built in productions on this map. You have to place your own if you want them. So, yeah, like I said, not much of a tour of the map other than our walking around that we did a little bit ago, I guess. And other than that, I think I will leave you all. Uh, next time, we will be doing farming. We will be doing some logging. And I'm glad you all bared with me on this. I hope you enjoy this challenge. And like I said, again, check out Rusty Money Gaming's discord if you are interested in doing this challenge listen to this video again i had to watch willies twice to kind of understand it so so that's no big deal but um yeah learn the map you know it's a fun map to play on like i said it's one of my favorites and i'm really really liking the graphics on here and and i'm looking forward to getting this this challenge underway so again everybody make sure you pound that like button it goes to help the channel. If you haven't already yet, please consider subscribing. It 
it helps me out too, I guess. So, and uh, we will see you for our regularly scheduled Sunday live stream. Every Sunday, I try to do it noon Central Standard Time. It's hard to say what we're ever on at any given time, but we might even be doing an episode of this challenge on there. But it won't be this this coming Sunday, but but soon we might be doing some on here. And, and yes, please enjoy the game. Because it is, like our friend Looney, farm guy, would say, it is just a game. Have fun. And again, thanks for watching, everyone. And we will see you soon. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.